Hi, everybody. It's Linda G. How you doing? What's the 411? So, um, first of all, I got two more gift packets today. It's just, you guys are amazing. Yesterday, I got something I've never done gotten before. And it's called Spoonful of Comfort. I got it from David, Kira, and Shahrazade. And it was like two things frozen of a tomato soup and a chicken noodle soup and rolls and cookies and even queasy drops. If you're not feeling so good, um, a banky, a snuggle banky. My kids always said, Mom, can I have my banky? I said, okay. And, um, what else did I get? Oh, this is a fuzzy, that warm fuzzy feeling. You put it in the uh, microwave, put it on your gut or wherever you need to help. Very soft. Thank you guys very much. And if you're watching, can you please send me on Grindle9103 your uh, at um, gmail.com, your address? This is not included. I did find out who sent me the Harry and David candies and goodies. That was my friend Mary. And they put, that's the second time I think Harry and David said nothing. Didn't say who it was from. So that was from Mary. And look at these flowers I got from, uh, they're beautiful, you guys. They're tropical. From Mel and his husband. And of course, the flowers from Bob Nelson are still hang going good. I got uh, some more. Um, I I just got so much, you guys. You guys are so generous. But um, hold on. And my uh, my friend who always sends me the Danish. She sends me a big old Danish when I was working at Angel Heart. She used to send me. I'd open it up and put it out there for everybody. And she sent me a coffee cake too. So it's like, whoa, girlfriend. Anyway, I messed up, you guys. I thought I was supposed to go to the doctor today. It's tomorrow. <laughs> Usually they send me so many reminders and I thought, oh, that's weird. They didn't send me anything. Notice how my throat is acting up. But look what else I got with the, the little comfort with the soup. Maestro, maestro. So anyway, okay, thank you very much, you guys. You're beyond fantastic. And I didn't go to the doctor today. I go tomorrow at 10 a.m. Okay, so we got a lot to talk about. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, okay? Let's talk about the speakership. I'm going to, and as you heard, Trump's talking about going down there. It's it's a nothing burger, but let's. I'm going to give you the details. Hold on. Okay, so let me. Write, I just got an idea. Okay, so as you know, Trump is talking about going down to the Capitol and giving his two cents. The first thing I saw was an immediate walkout by every Repub uh, Democrat. I'm almost feeling, oh, hell no. We The stench in the room would be too much. Um, Trump will not be, he might even read the room okay or be told by his people. Because I see people like Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene encouraging the, him to come. She's told everybody she's voting for him. It's a nothing burger. It really will affect his ego. So I'm unsure why he thought he would go and do this. But let's just take a look, see. Trump trying for the speaker chip. I feel right now there's more people mad at Matt Gates. And did you see Marjorie Taylor Greene who wasn't going to vote out Kevin, which I... Kevin McCarthy, which I told you, she liked him because he let her sit in the big main seat and act like big Chancho. She wanted him still in there. 
But then when he managed to get rid of him, thanks to the Democrats, uh, she's all, well, Kevin, you kept your promise, promise kept. Well, whatever, girl. Two-faced. Trump looking at the speakership. Give me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Oh, he's still mad, by the way. Okay. Um, he's looking for money. Duh. He's looking for money, you guys. Money, money, money. But he'll look like a fool. I don't think he's throwing his hat in. I think he's acting like he's going to give them stability. But look at the seven of swords in the house. Warning about a risk too high. This could devastate him. And did you hear Nikki Haley? She's still like 19 points behind Trump, but she's up in the polls, kicking away to Satan. Um, I can still see Marjorie Taylor Greene. That's an awful thought, you guys. I'm not, I can't cut her down as a human being, but she's not a very good person. And she would, I see her and Matt Gates walking with Trump down the hallway. I don't know, you guys. I'm feeling either, either the, the Democrats walk out or they're laughing their butts off. They humiliate him. Just food for thought, okay? Um... It's a zero. I see thumbs down. It's a zero. I don't even think he'll throw his hat. I think he's going to try to act like maybe Jim Jordan or somebody is 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 the right one. He's going to. Uh... Now, listen, when this first happened, the first person in my head was Steve Scalise. But, you know, he's a white something. Um He's not, and he also has a cancer, so they're afraid about his health. But um, so then I kept looking, who would be the next speaker of the house? And you know who I kept getting was that guy in Oklahoma. He's kind of moderate. Where I almost feel the Democrats, even though they say this is your thing, might even come together just to keep somebody like uh, Jordan out. Jordan's going to be surprised. He's talking to everybody, but he's done nothing. He's a nothing burger. He's never passed a bill. He's a nothing burger. He's almost as bad as McCarthy. He's a yes man. And Trump wants somebody in there. He can pull the string. Who will be... Let's look at Jim Jordan first, okay? Let's just go in, in order of the Angel of light and mercy. Who will be the next speaker? Is it Jim Jordan? Yes or no? I asked the pendulum and it said no. I'll ask it again, just in cases. Jim Jordan, how does he look? He's taking on too much. He's not trusting his instincts. He's got the seven of swords. He's he. There's warnings. There's his money is reversed. He thought he was going to earn a lot of money from this. Um. Says cut your losses and head on. This king of cups. I keep getting this king of cups. Who is that Oklahoma? Let me look it up. I'll get right back. So Tom Cole is his name, and he is April 28th, 1940 something. Uh, 1949. So he's a Taurus. Whereas the King of Cups is more water. But when I got more of a good feeling from him, uh, Steve Scalise is a... 
what are you, Steve? He was born October 6th. So he's a Libra. He's born the same day as my son. And my son is such a good person. And what's Jim Jordan? He's the sign of the ass. Well, that's unusual. Um, February 17th. So he's a, he's not quite a Pisces. I don't see Jim Jordan making it, but I, I could be wrong. But I don't see Jim. Whoever's going in isn't staying long. Like when they told Nancy Pelosi to get out of her seat, I thought, yeah, well, enjoy that because it, it's about ready to be turned around. We're going to have, by November or year, we're going to have the the uh, voting. And, and uh, I think uh, I see Jeffries. Let's look at Jeffries. Jeffries is going to be a big wig in the not Jeffries Hillside Cabin. Hakeem Jeffries. He would be fantastic. They they got themselves a real good. You see, eighth district of New York. When's your birthday, sweetie? I needs to know. By the way, Cole did serve in the military. Yeah, they're not giving me. I need Jeffrey's birthday. And they're not giving it to me, and I don't want to waste too much time looking at it. Okay, now the same at Hold on. Representative Hakeem Jeffrey was born August 4th. So he's a Leo. But the cups is there. So it's a man who can work across the table. Okay, so let's take a look. Just give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Let me get out my pendulum again. I'm a little diaphoretic, like I'm sweaty or something. I'm on antibiotics, so I can't have a feet, uh, infection. Angel of light and mercy. Will Hakeem Jeffries eventually be Speaker of the House? Yes, saying yes, okay. Will Jim Jordan be Speaker of the House? Big no. Will Tom Cole? be voted in as Speaker of the House. This is saying yes. And the other one I'm on the fence with is uh, is uh, Scalise. Will Scalise be voted as Speaker of the House? This is saying, I would get kind of yes, no for Scalise. So I'm wondering, does he come in and then he gets thrown out and then Tom Cole, Cole takes over? I didn't ask about Trump. Will Trump be Speaker of the House? Big no, huge, huge no. Okay, so let's ask this. Will Trump actually have the go nets to show up at the Capitol? It's saying no. Will we have a new Speaker of the House next week? No. Will we have a new Speaker of the House within two weeks? No. Maybe this is why we're, we're so desperate that the Democrats have to help pull somebody over. Well, we have a new Speaker of the House within three weeks saying yes. Will the Democrats help get yes, big time before I even finish the question? Okay, so there's some something going on. There's some inner fighting. Well, Trump throw himself in the middle of this is saying absolutely yes. He's going to act out. He's going to make people do this or that. But, you know, if the Democrats make an agreement, they may be so desperate to make an agreement, they're not even looking for as much as to just make sure somebody like Trump's cronies don't get in there. Okay, so what else did I want to ask? I've told you, I've often felt these dummies would close down the government. Will we come to a budget 
Will a budget be figured out? No. Damn it. Will the new Speaker of the House have to use Democrats to get a budget? Absolutely, yes. Will we have a new budget by the date? Now it's saying yes. So I guess what it's answering is there's no budget right now. So um, I hate to say it, we might just have to have the Democrats come in. They might even approach Tom Cole and say, listen, dude, you know, we're not necessarily 100% for a lot of your stuff, but we'd rather have you than morons. Okay, look at the eight people that they, they want to step down or they, they can't get rid of them because they were voted in. Are they going to accomplish punishing the eight people that voted against McCarthy? Yes. So, um, you know that one guy that was so verbal and look on my phone, they're already asking for money because a lot of that, Matt Gates was out for making money too, by the way. Uh, but he, the disconnect is how they say how wonderful McCarthy is. I mean, I'm not going to interpret him as a person, but I will tell you, this man was a two-faced liar. He didn't stand by. He did whatever his people said to do. He compromised himself right out the door. When he sat on that news show and said he was blaming the Democrats, he signed the paperwork because, no, you don't do that. That was two-faced and a bold lie. Even the woman he said that to, she said, excuse me? It was the Democrats that voted. But then that's when they decided, because remember, Trump wanted us to be shut down, shut them down. And uh, that's when um, Matt Gates brought him up. But, you know, there's no love lost between McCarthy and the Democrats. But even when they were saying to get Pelosi out of that office, I thought, eh, she'll get it back soon enough. Because if Hakeem comes in, I see him giving her back her old office. Okay, so I wanted to take a look, see, at this New York clown show that's going on. It's, it's he's just making such a spectacle of himself, isn't he? And yes, Ivanka is in trouble. I see her throwing other people under the bus. They did not ask for a jury trial, but he's going to try to blame it on the Democratic judge. I mean, if I was a Trumpster and really liked him, but then every time I turn around, he's blaming things. Everything's a setup. Everybody's a liar. 94 indictments later, I, or 94 charges later, I, I just don't think I would. And by the way, he's not supposed to run for speaker with any kind of, uh, um, like, trouble on his record like right now he's got 94 in, uh in is an indictment or anyway and they're not even supposed to, according to the rules and regulations of congress you even if he hasn't been found guilty it can't even be possibility of being found guilty later gotta have a clean record which won't happen tell me about New York. This judge is, he's had it. This judge has had it. He's done, done and dusted. Let's cut this. Let's go. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Yeah, they got too much evidence. Too much evidence. If there was something in there, because this judge was, doesn't want to be looked at as leaning towards uh, hurting Trump, but there's not enough there to even give him a reprieve. What he did is he gained his money off the backs of others. And he will have to pay for this. 
he will have to pay for this. Don't forget, this is like cut your losses and conserve. Don't forget what I told you that what's going to happen is he he's going to lose all his places. He's going to blame everybody else. His sons are really upset too. But remember, this is a civil trial. This isn't a criminal, but I see IRS big time. IRS coming in and pretty much clearing them out. And did you hear about the pillow guy? He can't pay his attorneys. He's broke. But, you know, they want sympathy, but they don't think about what did they do while they had their heads all up, you know, Trump's, you know what, and they were acting all holier than now. That's really tough. And um, <clears throat> thank you. I just heard this. I think this is my main guy because it was a male voice. He just said, in this world, at this moment, karma is coming. So if you put out negative, more negative is coming to you. So all these lies and stuff that we're all thinking people are getting away with, not happening. Karma is coming. Because don't forget with Andre, in fact, I'm doing a show with him tonight. He said that, you know, they're going along. Remember, Trump was happy, could commit fraud, whatever. So what? He said in 2023, 20, August, we would start seeing things start changing. All of a sudden, it doesn't work out for him. And then now he said by 2024, 20, 25, it circles. Trump's chart is really bad. So, and I think the people who have been lying, it's catching up to them. And I'd rather have someone, when I'll take a look at her, Nikki Haley, than Trump. But we'll we'll take a look at that. So the Trump New York is going to be hands down. This judge already knows how he's going to vote. Trump is going to lose. He's not getting any licensures back. Nothing. Everything's going to go downhill. Yeah, he'll petition to fight, but he, he's going downhill. Now, I want to look at Russia. By the way, uh, the United States was doing some stuff over Syria. And um, they just had to sh shoot down a Turkish, um, what do you call those things that fly through the air? Anyway, it was armed. And they warned it, and it left, and then it came back. So the military scrambled and shot them down. And we have a good relationship with Turkey. So my first hit was, it really wasn't a representation of Turkey. I felt like it was something else might even i felt russia hands all over it okay that's what i'm feeling i'll just put it out there also russia sh of course being the fine upstanding military people they are they shot up a grocery place killing innocent civilians which is their motive operandus let's take a look at russia this is really upsetting the um I see Zelensky really now. Trump, I mean, Trump, Putin is trying his best to put out negative information, fake news, to try to hurt the Democrats. I heard that as loud as day. No, know that this time it won't work. Also, I want you to know that Robert Kennedy is not going to hurt the Democrats. Did you see that article, the guy from Vanity Fair, he went to Mar Martha's Vineyard, he said, he wished he hadn't gone because he said, this guy's a whack job. He's crazy. And, um, he is not going to hurt the Democrats. He's running as an independent now, I guess. He's not going to hurt the Democrats. He'll hurt the Republicans because the Republicans like him. So I'm looking at Russia. So what we're looking at is, yeah, they're, they're all toast and think they got it in the 
but something is ending for them. Something major is ending for them. They'll be like caught with their hands in the cookie jar. Now this is Biden. Wishes come true. New proposal, new beginnings. So they are in fortune's fate. They are in fortune's hands. So the cycle, although every once in a while they'll do something like this, they try to put the fear of God in. But I see the Ukrainians coming back a thousandfold. How will the Ukrainians, I see money coming to the Ukrainians. How will the Ukrainians get money? How will the Ukrainians get money? Hold on. I thought I paused my recording, but I hadn't. I was just going to tell someone who was calling me that I'm doing a show. Okay, here we go. The Ukrainians are going to win this. I'm going to tell you, they're going to be successful. They'll have stability. I'm so sorry it's taking so long. Um, Are we going to still give money to the Ukraine? I do think that the president will have something to do with taking monies just like they did with uh, Iranian um, weapons and turned around and gave it to... Um... I see if they pick somebody like Cole to be Speaker of the House, we won't be dealing with this stuff. He's an ex-military man. Geez, I hope Cole's the one, even though I, I don't want him to be permanent, but he's the lesser of all the evils. Okay. I don't want you to worry about Ukraine. Ukraine's going to be okay. Put the angels of light and mercy around them and everything will be good. And also, I still do prayers. If you want to have a prayer done, it's... Uh, Grindle9103 at gmail.com. I did get a complaint about my prayer for a man who was really sick and, um, I mean, really depressed. And so I, re I read, I looked at it again, and I put the white light around him, and I said, yes, it's very common for people suffering like this, you know, to go into this downtrend, which she took offense to. And said, why couldn't you have said it like this? I said, well, sorry, you should have sent me the script. I would have said it exactly as she wants. Which puts me on that prep, prep can't even say it. Makes me want to say, you know what, skip it. But it's for the better good. I've gotten thousands of requests, and that was the only complaint I got. Some people, when they're really in pain, they got to lash out at others. Okay. So now we were going to look at Nikki. Nikki Haley. I told you she was doing good. She's going up in the poll. Santos is drowning. Santos is getting ready to go. Did you see a Vedic or whatever his name is? He's like way at the bottom of the list. Much ado about nothing going nowhere. Now she'd be a force to be reckoned with against Biden. Because at least she's got some but I've asked, almost every morning I ask, is Biden going to win? It always says yes. Nikki Haley. 
She's strong, but she's not going to win. She She's not going to win. Something could come up with her, some sort of news, maybe some fake news from Trump. But something's going to come up for her that's not very good. But she's not going to be president. Now, let me look at Trump. Will Trump still be running for president of the United States this time next year? Trump was desperately seeking some place to set his money. I don't know why I just got that. Either with his wife or his son or something. There's something with trying to put monies where they can't touch it. He was desperately seeking that. And the only reason he showed up for the civil trial, which he didn't have to do, was because he wanted to make a big stink and earn money off of it. Jesus, he's got the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. What was really, he's really making a fool out of himself. Um, now Biden's going to win. I'm telling you right now, Biden's going to win. But the Ace of Swords tells me when I asked, will he be on the ticket this time next year? He could very much not be on the ticket this time next year. We'll know more as we're getting in. We don't want to over talk about it because all, excuse me, all of us are talking about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's good. He is not on the ticket. Okay, you guys. So tonight I'll be on with Andre and I'm looking forward to that. And then Chris Kirsten is coming to make a guest appearance. Um, and Violetta, I'll have her again. We haven't been on for quite a while. So up and running, up and coming. Uh, and George Santos, uh, uh, George Santos, um, somebody in his department has just been arrested on charges of defarting, you think? Don't worry, George Santos is a has-been. He's about ready to head out the door. So, um, He's in trouble too. He's in trouble. But anyway, so I'll be looking forward to talking to Andre. Andre's been on everybody's show. So if you, I, I can't miss anything he does. He was on Freebird the other day. He was on Kirsten's show. He's on everybody's show. So I always enjoy listening to him. Okay, you guys. And Cool Crone, she's good, good too. And Deanne. And thank you, everybody. Thank you for all the good stuff. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll be back because we're going to have more to talk about. But just we, you know, not hour long, just we ones. Okay. Rem service. Somebody invited me to go camping the other day. Said, hey, my wife and I are thinking about going camping. Would you like to join us? I said, not if you don't have room service. Shoot, you're talking to the wrong person. <laughs> Love you all. Cheers. Bye.